in this video lecture i will discuss about the other excretory organs or system found in different organisms the microorganisms and invertebrate animals use more primitive and simple mechanism to get rid of their metabolic waste than mammalian system of kidneys and urinary function we have studied in our lower classes that there are simple excretory organs in lower animals in order to eliminate the nitrogenous waste as the animal advances in complexity the other systems be it the digestive system the circulatory system the reproductive system and the excretory system all these also exhibit great degree of complexity as the animal advances in its evolutionary journey so there are three excretory system involved in the excretion of the waste in organism and these excretory system has evolved during the journey of evolution as we know the organisms have originated from being one celled to becoming multi celled or multi cellular these excretory organs are the vacuoles flame cells and malpighian tubules in my earlier lecture i have also mentioned about the presence of green gland or the antennary gland in crustaceans so if we talk about the lower animals or microorganism we find the existence of contractile vacuole it is the most fundamental feature of life and it has been observed in many single celled animals like the protozoans the prokaryotic organisms also have some of the least complex life processes however prokaryotes such as the bacteria they do not contain the membrane bound vacuoles as observed in amoeba in amoeba there is no proper excretory organ but this function is performed with the help of contractile vacuole which not only eliminates the nitrogenous waste but is also said to play an important role in maintaining the osmoregulation 
Similarly, in earthworms, they have highly evolved excretory structure called the nephridia. Nephridia separates water, nitrogenous waste, etc. from the body cavity and expel them through the pores on the body surface. Flame cells are present in the helmets. Flame cells consist of two tubules connected to a highly branched duct system. These cells in the tubule are called the flame cells or protonephridia because they have a cluster of cilia that looks like the flickering flame when viewed under the microscope. The cilia propel waste matter down the tubule and out of the body through excretory pore. Flame cells are found in flatworms including the parasitic, tapeworm and free-living planaria. Insects have the Malpighian tubule. These tubules are usually found in pairs and the number of tubule varies. Their number could be as many as 500. The Malpighian tubule work cooperatively with the specialized gland in the walls of the rectum. The body fluids are not filtered as in case of nephritia. Urine produced by tubular secretion mechanism by the cell lining the Malpighian tubule that are bathed in the hemolymph. The metabolic waste like uric acid freely diffuse into the tubules. The mechanism of uh, excretion and osmoregulation by Malpighian tubule we have discussed earlier. So I will not explain it again. With diagrams I have already explained to you how the Malpighian tubules help in excretion as well as maintaining the osmoregulation. In fishes, the excretory product is ammonia, which is excreted directly in the water by the gills or through kidney.